so beautiful. Like when a clown explodes. John Doerr, you're never gonna settle down. You're gonna die alone. Hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go get some more lemons. TV's John Doerr. I always envisioned that I would be married with children by age 30, and now I'm 31 years old. I'm still alone. Will I ever find that special someone to spend the rest of my life with? Susan, what makes people feel lonely? Well, John, tell me more about what, what's been happening and, and what are you feeling right now? Pretty hungry. Probably use a bite to eat. Okay, and what else? Sad. Yeah. I never imagined that I'd be single forever. Yeah. You know, the thought of dying alone is mm -hmm. on my mind. You don't need to be in a rush. You in love? Yes. Feels good? Yes. Would you trade it for anything else? Well, describe trading it for anything else. A car? No. A truck? No. Led Zeppelin box set? No. I'm really happy. What's his name? Dave. My middle name's Dave. Is it? Yeah. Mm hmm Named after my dad. My grandfather's first name is George, so my dad's middle name became George. My dad's first name is Dave, so my middle name became Dave. My first name is Jonathan, so my son will be aborted. I guess I'm worried that I'm not going to get to enjoy what people like you get to enjoy. One thing that you can do right now for yourself is to explore self-love. Nurturing yourself. Not doing that with you here? Not right in this moment. So I have to learn to love myself Yes. if I want to find true love. Thanks, Susan. I gotta go do some laundry. So, stay out of my fucking fridge. Why so glow, chum? Hey, Larry. I don't know. Thinking about finding that special someone before it's too late. I was in love once. Met him at a garage sale. That summer, we were like two diving bell spiders in a mop bucket. Mm. That's beautiful, Larry. One night, I brought him down to my janitor cot, and we made raving unmerciful man love to the din of the gas furnace. And he never spoke to me again. He just ran off. No, I cut his fucking tongue out. But that was the happiest time of my life. Now go find that special someone, my sweet bearded angel, before it's too late. Thanks, Larry. Hello, dating agency. I need you to find me the love of my life. Gloria, thank you for making a house call. I'm looking to find my life mate. Can you help me? Absolutely, we can help you with that. How can you help? Well, we start off by going through a standard interview process, and it helps me get a sense of who you are and what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh, okay. And then we go out and start searching for you and introduce you to some people. Then ask away. Okay. So, ideally, John, what age range would you say you'd be looking for someone in? I'd say anywhere between the ages of 25 and 63. 62. 25 and 62. Okay, we can probably work with that age range. Good. And is religion or spirituality important to you at all? Do you mean the sweet Lord that breathes life into my lungs every day? Yeah. 
No. Okay. Uh, how often would you say you drink? I drink every day. Okay. But not a lot. And you're not going to have seven beers a day? On a regular basis? Okay, no problem. And you smoke, right? I'm trying to quit. Yeah. Why are you, now, what are you, a doctor all of a sudden? <laughs> well, you know, it's a fact of life. There are fewer and fewer people who are smoking these days, and I find it yeah, really Yeah, because hard. it's killing us. Yeah. So do you have a preference if the woman you meet smokes or doesn't smoke? As long as she doesn't mind me smoking, then I'd rather she didn't. Okay. And how long has it been since your last significant relationship, whatever you consider to be significant? Um, about three years. Okay. And how long was that relationship? About a week. Perfect. Long. Not that long. Have you had any long-term relationships? Yeah, I dated someone for a month. Okay. Anything longer than that? The longest would have been three weeks. Okay. Do you have any pets? I have goldfish. Goldfish. Very Two important. Of them. Okay. They're worth three, <laughs> but he got sick. Oh. So yeah. I had to put him in a tube sock and crushed him on the counter. Are you okay with other people's pets? Are you okay with cats and dogs? I used to have a cat, uh, but got sick. So put him in a tube sock and... So similar, but slightly different. What are you most proud of that you've accomplished? I can do this. What about career-wise? Okay. Moving right along, then. Yeah. So, what are the qualities you have that you think most women would be attracted to? I don't have a lot of hair around my nipples. Just a bit. What uh, about personality traits? I guess I'm a very giving and caring soul. Um, if my girlfriend was ever to put on weight, uh, I would gladly deprive her of sex as a punishment. So mm -hmm. I guess what I'm saying is I would help her. Okay. So if you had to describe the qualities you're looking for in this woman. I like my women the way I like my coffee. Small, hot, and made by my parents. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? No, I think that's pretty much it. I've got a lot of information here, so just give me a little bit of time, and I'll get back to you as soon as I have a couple of matches for you. Thanks, Gloria. No problem. Dear Diary, this is going to be great. I might even find the one. We could settle down together and maybe even get married and then divorced. Wait. Don't 95% of all marriages end in divorce? Oh, I better talk to someone who knows something about this commitment bullshit. Right after this commercial break. Soon I'm gonna meet my real life romantic matches. But I keep thinking that a committed relationship in this day and age is destined for failure, or boredom, or even a cat. But I think I found a way around it. I decided to meet with a very special kind of couple. People who were married and still have sex with others. They had found a loophole in the system. A couple who are married and were still allowed to fuck other people. If I were to come to your club with a date, what kind of things could I expect? The clientele that we get at the club, it's more a typical couple that it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, and they're coming to look for a threesome. How are you with the idea of him having sex with other people? Well, it's me, actually. What's that mean? It, I'm picking the girls and they're playing with me. And then he's participating. You did it. You did it. <laughs> You've lived your life. You figured it out. Are you under a spell? Did he do something to you? The key to all this, obviously, is communication and also is a lot, of, uh, a lot of trust. Do you ever get jealous? Sometimes. What's a good way to deal with jealousy? Talking. What if she was to say to you, you know what would turn me on, Shlomo, is if you went into that horse stable and had sex with the horse. <laughs> no, it doesn't say, turn me on. Okay, but it's her fantasy. Well, then that's... We don't agree on that. And why do you have that fantasy? I don't have that fantasy, but... I said that. Sorry. If I did have that fantasy and he says that's not his thing, mm. it stops right there. What kind of... So just a vibe for me to put out there that might attract some swingers. It's a lot of body language. Like... Like standing hello. at the bar, like... <laughs> my name's John. I'd like you and my wife and I to go upstairs and... 
So, I'm sorry, I feel something here. <laughs> and I'm not giving her anything, but it's she's okay. given me uh, everything. Just in case you, know you have thoughts, he has to be there too. She might have a proposition for you, pretty soon. <laughs> Maybe, you never know. It might involve another man for the first time. Maybe. And I'll say, why don't the two of you just make up for a little bit while I sit here, you know? What? <laughs> <laughs> And be honest, is this doing anything for you right now? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Not into this. <laughs> I'm at the point, I love the two of you equally, that if I saw the two of you making out, it would make me jealous. It's not about jealousy, it's how to deal with the jealousy. So do you find this hedonistic lifestyle makes your marriage stronger? Of course. Really? Yes, no doubt about it. Hmm. Well, I'm glad the two of you are happy. Thank you. Thanks, Aurora. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Shlomo.